All right, so much to my surprise, it is sunny here on the coast. So I'm preloading my pallet and I have, you know, a sort of pallet box. Uh, one of the nice things is that I can preload my pallet and then walk out to the painting location. Also, I don't need to scrape off the paint when I'm done. Uh, since I paint almost every day, uh, the paint never really dries. I'm gonna use my usual colors here today. Oftentimes I don't squeeze out cadmium yellow lemon, but today I am gonna squeeze that out because it's nice to mix with the thalo to create nice aquas. And I'm not sure, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using it, but this stuff stays um, workable for like a week at least. Some of the other colors kind of harden up or, or skin over quickly, uh, like ultramarine blue does. And what else? I think that, that one dries up the quickest. And then the longest lasting is, is alizarin crimson. Here's some phthalo blue. Phthalo blue, that kind of skins over fairly quickly too. Dioxazine purple, that one stays fresh for a while. Yellow ochre kind of skins over quickly. <laughs> All this freaking painting trivia that you probably didn't even want to know, but there you are. Got to make sure I have enough alizarin. That's probably enough ultramarine, but I'm going to add a little bit more. I'll probably use more white, but I do carry white in my backpack out to the location and also ultramarine. All right, and I'm gonna paint on this 12 by 16 inch panel. Um, and 12 by 16 has become my go-to small size when I don't have a lot of time. So this is looking south. There's a lot of glare on the water. I mean, this is an interesting scene, but I just, I don't think I can handle that much uh, sunlight. So I'm looking in this direction and I kind of like these rocks in the foreground. And then there's these massive waves out in the back. Um, and then also too, there's the, the cliffs right here or uh, um, these bluffs or whatever with the red on them. That looks kind of nice as well. So I'm gonna probably just move some things around and create a nice, uh, a nice composition or try to. The other thing too is as the sun goes down, it's gonna start backlighting the waves, uh, and so there'll be a lot of nice color coming through. There are certain days when you're not inspired or you're not motivated, and the key is to just get out and do it and have no expectation other than you're gonna put some painting or you're gonna put some paint on a panel or a canvas, and that's your only expectation, just to get out and do it. Uh, oftentimes I end up doing really nice paintings on days like that. Um, but if you're sitting around contemplating whether you should paint or not and you've got ideas of perfection or certain expectations, that can keep you from actually making that step out the door. Whereas if you set the bar really low, it makes it a lot easier. Like I'm just gonna get out, I'm gonna put paint on a panel, period, that's it. Uh, that really works for me, it keeps me painting. And I find that, like I said, once the process has started, I, you know, I give it usually the same attention that I do any other painting and oftentimes it turns out really well because I'm not burdening myself with ex expectations of perfection or even good for that matter. All right, enough talking, I'm gonna paint.
Okay, I'm gonna go with this composition and the idea that I'm working on is an interesting arrangement of shapes in the foreground and I kind of like how uh, with the white water there's a lot of nice um, ultramarine or sort of purplish colored shadows in the white water so I'm going to work with that and I don't know if I'm going to incorporate some of this uh, the, the cliff here maybe uh, just using those elements to try to create an interesting painting and the sun is going down so I'm going to keep going all right so I'm going to start by laying in my darks I'm going to mix in some liquid and the liquid helps it dry quickly but it also makes it really workable Alright, so next I'm going to put in the sky and these distant mountains. Alright, I'm going to use some titanium white mixed with a little bit of phthalo blue. Alright, so for the water I'm using ultramarine blue, white, and a little bit of burnt sienna. That'll give me my starting uh, color for the water, which is usually sort of a blue-greenish. Um, and I might add, I'm going to add a little bit of cadmium yellow medium to kind of make it a little more green. Alright, so the next thing I want to add is all this white water and I'm going to use a mixture of ultramarine and white and I'm going to keep the mixture very light and then I may come over that with some uh, titanium white mixed with a little bit of yellow.
All right, so here's the painting in one of my floater frames. And uh, there are a few things I did after the camera stopped rolling. Number one, I reinforced these mountains in the background, also thickened up the paint in the sky. And then uh, I sort of added some variety into the shoreline here by adding smaller rocks. Um, I felt like the lines were just too straight and there, were, there wasn't enough variety in there. Uh, and one last thing I did was I had painted some puddles uh, that were reflecting the sky, but they just weren't working. So I just painted those out. All right, so now for a little bit of commentary. Uh, the first thing that I noticed is this panel was a little bit small for the level of detail that I was getting into, uh, especially those little reflective puddles and the small rocks I was using to break up the shoreline. Uh, I think it would have been fun to do this composition on an 18 by 24. It would give me a little bit more room to swing the brush. But, uh, you know, no expectations today, so I just, I'm just happy to be outdoors. It turned out to be a beautiful day. Uh, sunny, no wind, um, and uh, also too, the clouds sort of dissipated, so it was really a surprise. As I mentioned, sometimes when you're in a rut, the best thing to do is just force yourself to get to work. Um, I find that helps uh, stoke the motivation, it gets me rolling again. If you're interested in extra content and supporting the channel, there is a Patreon link down below. Other than that, stay creative guys, see you in the next video.